The buyer condominiums can buy or buy buy. Hi, my name is Alan from Ellery Property. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I did my usual morning run in the town of Topayo. Topayo is one of the oldest towns in Singapore. It's well known for its central location, HDB hub, hawker center, wet market, and most importantly, highly sought after primary schools. Today, I'm going to do a review of the performance of condominiums in Topayo. There are only a handful of condos in the first place. There are Orlando Towers, Trellis Towers, Sky Eleven, Trevista, the peak at Topayo, which is a DBSS, and Gem Residence. Which condo has underperformed and which condo has performed well over the years? Without further ado, let's jump straight into it. The first condo that we are going to compare is Orlando Tower. Orlando Tower is a 99 years leasehold condo completed in 1998. Back then, it was the first condo in Topayo. The average launch price back in 1995 was 780 per square feet or 900,000 for the typical three bedroom apartment. Today, the average price is about 1,300 per square feet or 1.6 million for the three bedroom apartment. In terms of the capital appreciation, based on per square feet basis, the return is 67% over the last 28 years or the 2.4% analyzed return. In terms of capital appreciation, based on price-wise, the return is 74% or the 2.6% analyzed return. Take note, there will be some variation between the capital appreciation in terms of per square feet and the overall price as a different set of data are being averaged out. The purpose of showing you the overall price is to give you a better understanding in terms of how much prices have appreciated over time rather than looking from a per square feet basis, which will most likely make no sense to you. Anyway, for the ease of this discussion, we will mainly be comparing in terms of overall price point. Next, we have Trellis Tower which comprised 384 units and complete in 2000. This is a rare freehold condo near the heart of Topayo Central. I'm always puzzled why the land Trellis Tower sit on is freehold land where the surrounding is 99 years leasehold HDB flats. After much research, this piece of land which is owned by CDL used to be a light industrial building back in 1992. It was only in 1996 that written permission was obtained from URA to redevelop this freehold land into a 30-story condominium, which presently is Trellis Tower. The average launch price back in 1996 was 900 per square feet or 1.2 million for the three-bedroom apartment. Today, the average price is about 1,800 per square feet or 2.3 million. This means that prices has appreciated by 88% or the 3.3% analyzed return. Not too bad, in my opinion. Sky Eleven is another rare freehold condo. The land it sits on is previously occupied by a factory owned by Singapore Press Holding. SPH developed it into a 384 luxury condominium comprising 3 to 5 bedrooms. The majority of units are 4 bedrooms that measure 2713 square feet. The average launch price back in 1996 was 1,000 per square feet or 2.6 million for the typical four bedroom apartment. Today, the average price is about 2,100 per square feet or 5.7 million. This means that prices have appreciated by 116% or the 7.2% analyzed return. Impressive return. Just take a look at the historical price trend except for the U.S. subprime crisis in 2008 to 2009 and the 2017 slowdown. Otherwise, Sky Eleven performance is a good barometer of Singapore economic progress. Travista is a 99 years leasehold condo with 519 units. It is within walking distance to many popular schools such as CHIJ Primary and Page One Public School. The average launch price in 2009 was 950 per square feet or $1 million for a three bedroom. Today, the average price is 1,700 per square feet or $2 million. This means that prices has appreciated by 91% or the 6.5% analyzed return in just 14 years. Impressive re return. <laughs> On the 
on a side note, let's compare the performance of the peak at Topayo, which is a DBSS with 1,203 units. DBSS is a hybrid between a HDB flat and a condo. Based on online blog, the initial selling price for 5 bedroom ranged from 539000 to 698000 with 24 exclusive 5 room units costing from 700000 to 722000 Let's assume these are the top 2 floor units. Based on the latest transaction, a 39-story 5 room unit was sold for the cool 1.3 million or 1,100 per square feet. This means the seller has made a 92% return or an 11.5% analyzed return. This means that most owners will have doubled their value in just 8 years. Anyway, DBSS scheme has already been scrapped after poor workmanship and public outcry over the high price. On hindsight, those that took the leap of faith and bought directly from the developer make massive profit. Lastly, let's compare Gem Residence. Gem Residence is a 578 units condo with 1 to 6 bedrooms apartment. The average launch price in 2016 was 1,400 per square feet or 1.4 million for the typical 3 bedroom. This is considered high back then. Today, the average price is 1,860 per square feet or 1.8 million. This means that prices has appreciated by 29% or the 4.1% analyzed return. Pretty impressive in my opinion. On this note, I'm curious if Gem Resident performance is due to the popularity of Topayo, or is it due to other reasons? Let's find out. Here, I decided to use two other condos that are launched at the same time in 2016. This will help us determine if timing play an important role in a condo performance. I use 30 residence, which is located in Jalan Besar. In this case, I will use the two-bedroom transaction as there are very few three-bedroom transactions for this condo. The average return is 26% or 3.7% analyzed return. On the other hand, Queen Peak, which is in Queenstown, achieved a 34% or a 4.8% analyzed return. Both results are almost on par with Gem Residence performance. This means that as long as you have a long-term horizon and buy a project that has a unique selling point. In this case, Sturdy Resident is located near the city fringe and Queen Peak is next to Queentown MRT Station. There is a high chance of taking profit. Topayo is generally a nice place to stay. There is a mixture of very old HDB flats that have high architectural value. There are also HDB flats that are built in the late 1990s they are highly sought after for their space, such as these executive flats. Topayo is a town that is well maintained and built for seniors. The most amazing part is there is even a public water theme park and a big playground for everyone living in Topayo. Whether you are staying in public or private properties, everyone has access to the growth of the nation. For those that are from lower income family, there are even scholarship programs to give you a leg up. The best part, I think everyone has access to their MP for help if needed. Cannot complain really. My hiam be pai liao. Most private condominium in Topayo are performing well mainly because of their location, markets, and schools. There are also a limited number of condos in this area. This could be another reason why prices are holding so well. The freehold Sky 11 has outperformed in the private segment whereas the peak at Topayo has achieved an equally impressive return. Orlando Tower may not have performed as well as the rest, but it's still affordable for 1,300 per square feet entry point. For those that have a lower budget, you can consider any of the resale HDB flats in Topayo. It's a town that offers a wide variety of homes for everyone with different financial needs. That's all, and if you enjoyed this video, please help me to like and share. If you have plans to sell your Topayo condos or HDB flats, you are most welcome to contact me. That's all. Thank you for watching and see you soon in Topayo.